Most of the time I love being single. I am very comfortable being single. But tonight I hung out with friends and I had a great time. And then I was driving home and I started feeling this like wave of depression and anxiety. And I I wasn't really sure what it was related to or where it was stemming from. And then I, I got home and I felt like just so sad and lonely. And I walked into my empty apartment and I thought... God, I wish that I had someone who could just hold me right now. Like, I wish that I had someone who could just take care of me. Because I have to take care of myself every single day. And it's fucking exhausting. And I just want someone to take care of me every now and then. I'm 46 years old. And while I'm getting ready for surgery and everything, it dawned on me that I'm 46 years old and I don't have a husband to take care of me. Being single and 46 sucks. It just sucks. And I make jokes about buffoons that I have been encountering in, in dating. But in reality, this is, this is my reality. <laughs> So fucking tired of being alone. I'm so tired of trying to find love for him. I mean, damn. I may not be pretty to somebody, but goddamn, I'm pretty to me. I'm so tired of being alone. I'm tired of this bullshit. I don't understand why the fuck am I still living. I just want to be somebody girlfriend, somebody wife, somebody something. I deserve to fucking be happy too. Why the fuck can't I be happy? I'm tired. I'm tired of being. I'm so there are alternative ways to live in the modern world than having children and getting married. But is it worth jeopardizing your future for them? It's a myth that all single women in their 30s and beyond are content with their lives. They are underprivileged, depressed, and prone to outbursts. When these women reach their later years and have white hair, they start to whine and lament their decisions. In their 20s, these women desire everything in life except for partnerships and children. The majority of single women in their 40s and 50s without children are in that circumstance because they choose to pursue everything else that doesn't involve a guy or a family, not because of anyone or society. They regret not moving forward sooner and starting a family after realizing it is too late. A woman would typically prefer a man who is at least three years her senior, but what male would be interested in dating? a lady who would not bring significant benefits to the family. When considering it from a male viewpoint, a well-established man who has worked hard to build wealth for himself over the years would not select a lady who is close to his age when starting a family. Males tend to perceive women in their early 20s to be the most appealing, regardless of their age. On the other hand, women tend to age together with their ideal partner. These 40-year-old single women share a common theme. When they were younger, they claimed to be emotionally stable until the attention dried up and reality set in. They dated for pleasure or engaged in casual encounters to get attention. They now understand that they wasted most of their fleeting youth seeking attention and that it is no longer simple for them to settle down. Some women don't choose to be single, but it's usually because of unrealistic standards and expectations from their youth that make it difficult for them to meet a partner who will commit to a long-term relationship. There are further explanations for why some women never find a boyfriend when they are younger. Some some women accept the counsel of older women without considering the implications because they want to explore and have fun. Trauma is another factor for this behavior. Younger women need to realize that independence is a temporary position. Following their financial success and their proud demonstration of self-sufficiency, they are confronted with an empty house, growing expenses, and the heavy duty of housekeeping, which causes them to feel remorse. Living alone and being single looks desirable at first but things aren't as perfect as they had thought. They suddenly desire company, but discover that no man is saving them. 
These women, in my opinion, are leftovers because they are either widows from failed relationships or single mothers in their 30s who no longer have the desirable attributes that attract men. Men profit greatly from living alone and being unmarried in comparison to women who live alone. You can protect yourself as a single man from a variety of problems, such as cohabitation concerns, child support, financial support for women, and marriage or divorce obstacles. However, as is evident from watching the clips, women who are unable to locate a compatible mate are left to live a depressing and lonely life. If you're waiting to commit to a serious relationship to cross a few more items off your bucket list, don't assume your dream man will still be available when you're ready. Old women in their 30s, 40s, or 50s are no longer a waste of time for males. Women are always like, I can't get a man to, 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 to be there for me. I can't get a man to do this A, B, and C. And I can't, like, oh, no, no, I'm single, I don't understand. Someone, he said it earlier, someone has to always lead and someone has to submit. Mm -hmm. And if you want a man to step up and be a man and be Shiva, you gotta submit and surrender first. You want a God? Treat him like a God. He'll start acting that way. Secrets from a professional matchmaker. Here are three reasons great women remain single. Hang on. Number one, you might be beautiful and fantastic in every single way, but lady, your picker is broken. You have bad taste in men. Two, your friends love you and they want to be supportive. So most of the time they tell you what you want to hear, not the honest truth, what you need to hear. Oh, but I got one more for you. Hang on. Number three, you like your life just the way it is and you don't need anybody. And that is perfectly fine too. But Being single is actually a blessing, okay? I know that it's tempting to want to date someone. I get it, trust me. But when you're constantly looking for a relationship like that, instead of enjoying being single, you'll take anything you can get. But if you enjoy being single, then people actually have to work and show you that they're worth it for you to date them. When you're looking for a relationship, you're gonna romanticize the crap out of any crush you have. But when you enjoy being single, you get to learn more about yourself and what you like. And you learn to be picky because you enjoy your own time without somebody else. Some women profess to be delighted that they are unmarried and childless in their 30s, despite the majority of women suffering emotional breakdowns and feeling depressed about it. Why do most women spend their early years without considering the effects being single will have on them in the future? 1. To concentrate on their development. They often feel empty-handed, and a man would enable them to put more of their attention on themselves. That is partially true, yet men also contribute to a woman's personal development. 2. They're content with their independence. Dating casually may be a lot of fun. It's an opportunity to establish a connection without committing or being bound. With just a swipe of the screen, applications give you quick access to a plethora of possible partners. Naturally, a lot of women decide not to date at all. And even in those cases, they discover that their lives are perfectly fulfilled in the absence of romantic partners. 3. They use it to boost their self-esteem. The majority of women believe that their relationships define who they are and how valuable they are. They decide to live a single life to avoid depending on other people to make them happy. They think that if they find happiness on their own, independent of men, it will boost their confidence and sense of self. 4. They are unwilling to give in. There may be times in any relationship when you have to give in on things to please your partner. However, being single frees you from having to make concessions or take into account the wants or feelings of others. You can do whatever you want, whenever you want. And for some women, that is incredibly powerful. There are lots of older women who are unmarried and looking for males to marry them. Now that their faces are wrinkled and they have white hair, they will stop at nothing to settle down. Guys, be confident in your abilities and resist the urges and expectations of others. You have choices as a guy. Make use of them and don't accept anything less.